Hello everyone and welcome back again to the 80s Movie Den. Uh, Happy New Year. It's 2024. Uh, I hope you all had a great uh, holiday season. Uh, I hope you had time to rest, um, enjoy time with family and friends. Uh, if you went on vacations, that's awesome. Um, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I had a lot of time to rest and recoup. And uh, we're in 2024 now, and uh, we're going to start off uh, with a room tour. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, I planned on doing it uh, a while back, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, the room was in order and everything was uh, right where I wanted it to be. And um, Mike D, this is for you and anybody else that uh, was curious about uh, what the 80s movie den uh, looks like. Usually I'm just sitting on my couch or sitting on a chair and, you know, with a bit of a backdrop behind me. But uh, yeah, we're going to do an extensive tour. Um, it's not going to be a super long uh, episode, but we're going to we're going to go in and we're going to we're going to look around and I'm going to show you uh, show you what the den looks like. All right. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to get started. All right. So I'm actually standing on my stairs as if I was coming down. And uh, this is the first thing you see here is this theater sign. Um, yeah, I picked this up on Amazon. I'm not sure when actually, uh, probably about six months ago. Um, it's really cool, really cool sign. I think I paid too much for it, uh, but I really loved it. Uh, I've been meaning to stick a little light behind it, um, just to give it some dramatic effect, uh, just to make it look like it's worth more than what I paid for it. <laughs> Cause, um, it was a bit pricey. Um, it's made out of tin, like a, a thin, uh, tin, like those tin signs. Um, it's about, uh, um, it's about 16 inches, uh, in height. So it's a fair size. It's a fair size piece. Um, and it's just designed to look like an old uh, classic uh, vintage theater marquee. So, so that's on my wall as I come down. Uh, and then we go back here. Um, this is just a little uh, hallway area um, into my storage room. Uh, but this is where my posters start, actually, my movie posters. Um, so we'll start off with The Wizard of Oz. Um, absolutely love that movie. Um, you know, it was a movie that was released in 1939, but to me it's always going to be or feel like an 80s movie uh, because that's when I just, I watched it. Um, it was always on CBS. I remember my mother taping it off of CBS. Uh, we'll get into that. We'll do a little story about The Wizard of Oz um, on another day. Um, we got John claude Van Damme. Bloodsport. Awesome movie, great movie, great poster too. Um, the Lost Boys. Fantastic movie. Um, so this side here, this wall here is, uh, it's bare. Um, and I'm gonna use it to add more posters. Um, I'm just trying to decide uh, what size posters I wanna throw there. I think I'm gonna put the posters here are six, uh, what are they, 16? No, 24 by 36. Uh, these are 24 by 36 posters. Uh, and I can add probably three more on this wall. Uh, but I'm thinking of maybe adding some smaller ones too so that, uh, you know, more posters. There's a lot of movies that I love and I'd love to have posters up, but I'm going to need smaller posters if I want to fit them all. Um, so... This is uh, usually the backdrop that you'll see. Um, this is behind my sofa. I just created this little concession area here. Um, there's my sign there. And then uh, a couple of little uh, shelves. Uh, funny enough, those are, um, those are shelves for uh, laptop computers. I didn't want to get the, um, I didn't want to get the, you know, the real snack shelves because they're super expensive. Um, and that's kind of serving the same purpose. So it looks okay. 
Uh, these are 11 by 17 posters here. Oh, sorry for that glare, it's bad. Um, we've got uh, First Blood, Ghostbusters, and The Terminator. I love that size poster. Um, there's the Monster Squad and Jaws. And then uh, the little popcorn machine here. It's not bad. Um, makes enough for about three people one batch so it's pretty good uh, lights up it's one of those old-fashioned ones so there's, they're pretty neat makes just enough and then there's uh, one of my favorite horror movies of all time is Fright Night absolutely love that movie yeah, sorry, like I was saying, these small posters are great because uh, uh, they're very clear, very detailed, uh, and you can fit a lot of them on a wall. Um, I'm planning on getting two more, putting one here in this empty space and then uh, throwing another one here on that spot there. Uh, so just below here is, this is one of those Ikea cube shelves. Um, I've got lots of space actually in there if I really wanted to add more stuff to it. Uh, just some storage for the popcorn. Okay, as we move along here. The Karate Kid. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Love those movies. Awesome movies. Um, there's space on the wall down here to add a couple more posters if I really wanted to... Uh, take up all the wall space there. We've got um, Sylvester Stallone and Rocky II. Uh, these cardboard standees are pretty awesome. Um, uh, people like to talk about them when they see them. Uh, that's one of the shelves that I highlighted in one of my videos. Just a bunch of 80s pop culture stuff, video games, movies. Um, yeah, some pretty cool stuff there. Get the Rocky poster. Uh, I'm thinking about getting another Rocky poster. I'm looking into getting uh, Rocky IV, I think. I really like the way that one looks. Um, Um, as, I, as I've mentioned before, I am a music guy too. I love my music. I love my older music. Uh, that's why I set up an old um, kind of 80s industrial style turntable here. I love playing records. Uh, I love playing uh, records from the 80s especially. Uh, it's just a modest collection. Some, some records there and some records there. So not very many, but just enough. Of course, I cover movies from other decades as, as well, and this is one of my favorite franchises, uh, The Lord of the Rings. Uh, absolutely love those movies. Uh, love that franchise, Lord of the Rings. Uh, this is my other shelf here. We've got my Viewmaster. Um, yeah, some cool E.T. Star Wars. Of course, Pee Wee Herman. So I go back to Alf there. I mean to leave him out, just hanging out by the turntable. And then we've got my little Star Wars corner here. Um, big time Star Wars fan. Love that poster. And then we've got another standee in this corner here with Luke and Leia. It's the 40th anniversary. Yeah, these are great. Um, they just they just really add add to the overall atmosphere in the room. Uh, then Superman two, uh, played by, in my opinion, the greatest Superman of all time, Christopher Reeve. As we go down here, we've got some other classic movie characters here. We've got King Leonidas from 300, which is a phenomenal film. And Keanu Reeves as John Wick. 
pretty awesome movies. And we've got Al Pacino and Scarface. The terrible glare, sorry there. Here we go. And we've got Michael J. Fox, Teen Wolf. And just the 55 inch flat screen with a sound bar. Uh, a lot of these newer TVs, uh, their sound is uh, less than less than mediocre, let's put it that way. Uh, we got some game systems, but I don't really play a lot of video games. I do from time to time. I'll, I'll go through phases, uh, but I really use those uh, systems a lot for music um, and for streaming and for, uh, for playing DVDs and Blu-rays. So got my VHS player there, hooked up and ready to go. And then this is what you see. It's a comfy couch. Oh, I forgot to show you this uh, makeshift end table. This is actually uh, sold as a uh, shoe shelf unit by Ikea. Uh, but it also makes an awesome end table. Like fantastic end table. <laughs> There's some uh, movie magazines there. All right, let's head over to one of my favorite parts of the uh, the den. The Friday the 13th poster. More Michael J. Fox, Back to the Future. Um, and then my movies start. That's my some of my VHS collection there. Um, there's some spaces available to add more. So just to put it into perspective, that's about 14 feet of wall from that corner to this spot here is about 14 feet of shelving. And those are all my movies to date. We've got the Universal Monsters up here, which I've mentioned many times over that uh, I absolutely love them. Love the Universal Monsters. As you can see, I did take uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon and Frankenstein out of their boxes. Uh, they just look best displayed loose like that. And I've kept Bella Lugosi in his package as well. The Evil Dead. That poster actually came with the Evil Dead Special Edition DVD that I purchased out of a dump bin at Walmart. $5 for the movie. Special Edition, extra footage, posters, all that good stuff. E.T. One of my favorite movies of all time. Absolutely love E.T. Um, I can't get through the end of that movie ever uh, without uh, getting emotional, so... There's my little Wizard of Oz um, tribute there. Absolutely love this movie. So connected to my childhood. And then again, more Lord of the Rings. Huge Lord of the Rings fan. Um, those figures there, um, they are really neat looking figures. And the funny thing is, uh, they were part of the Burger King promotion uh, back in, I think it was 2001. Um, yeah, they're just Burger King toys. And they used to all come with um, little stands. But I took them off the stands and, then, and just stood them up. And they look awesome there. So More VHS tapes. So this center shelf forgot to mention all of this here is all 80s all 80s movies tv shows um and then this big shelf here and then this one beside over here is all movies from the 70s the 90s the 2000s the 60s all other decades so Another 80s classic, The Goonies. Love that movie. 
I love a lot of movies. <laughs> I say that a lot. <laughs> um, Summer School, love that movie as well. My dad rented that for me uh, back, yeah, around 87 or so. I remember us renting that and uh, loving every minute of it. Just loved it. Um, that shelving unit is just reserved for uh, either more VHS movies or DVDs. I picked that up on the marketplace for $10. Uh, took a can of spray paint to it, and it's a beautiful shelf. 10 bucks. All the shelving units on the wall behind me as well. I think it was a grand total of about $100 for all the shelving. Marketplace, garage sales, great place to go. Um, up here, um, this is one of the highlights of my childhood. Um, a modest collection of LJN and uh, 80s wrestling memorabilia. So those are my VHS tapes that I highlighted on uh, one of my previous episodes. Um, I got those posters. So that poster right there, The Ultimate Challenge and the Royal Rumble. Um, got those off of Amazon. Uh, we're going back about six years now. Uh, that poster there I got on Kijiji. I no longer use Kijiji. Um, not that I have anything against it. Um, it's kind of like the marketplace, but uh, I prefer the marketplace. Um, I can't find that anywhere. So it has become a rare piece. Um, this is the promotional poster for the big event in Toronto at the CNE Exhibition Stadium. Uh, August 28th, 1986. Uh, that was supposed to kind of be a, a tune-up or a warm-up event uh, before the big WrestleMania event, uh, WrestleMania 3, that took place in March, um, several months later. Uh, it was a testing ground. There were close to 70,000 people at the CNE, and they got to witness uh, Hulk Hogan versus Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff for the title. Uh, you see there's a lot of Canadian uh, sponsorship up there. You got Molson Canadian, Molson Beer, Q107, which is an awesome rock station out of Toronto, and CHCH TV, which is a, a TV station out of Hamilton, Ontario, uh, which broadcasted um, Maple Leaf Wrestling on Saturday nights here in Canada. Uh, yeah, phenomenal poster. We got the wrestling album. And there's the big event there on video. Had to get that. Of course, the 1988 Royal Rumble. Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. The first three episodes, I believe, are on that tape. Some WrestleMania 3 pins. Now, these aren't old vintage pins or anything. These are kind of, I don't know who made them, but uh, um, yeah, they're pretty cool. And then I got some wrestling cards, 1989 set. And of course, the beloved LJN figures. Um, I don't know if I'll ever complete the collection, uh, but I, I do have a few more that I'd really like to have. Uh, most notably, the British Bulldogs, the Hard Foundation. Um, I'd like to get a couple more managers as well. But yeah, that's my tribute to uh, the WWF right, right there on the top shelf. Pretty sweet. And then down here, um, I've got some movie action figures. Uh, we got Back to the Future. And we've got the Ghostbusters. Dana and the boys. Of course, Gozer. And as we move over, we've got some horror movie figures. We've got Jason, Freddy. Um, that spot in the center is reserved for Mike Myers. Once I can find one uh, for a decent deal. That's Vince Clortho from Ghostbusters as well. That piece is awesome. And we've got Rambo First Blood. That's a hot toy. Beautiful piece, I love that piece. And we've got 
Darth Vader. It's just a coin bank. It's nothing special, but uh, it's pretty sweet. It's interactive. You push the button, the lightsaber comes up, he talks. And then we've got, one again, I love this movie. <laughs> You'll hear that all the time. Um, really nice Karate Kid set there. The All Valley Karate Championship poster. And the trophy. I plan on getting Mr. Miyagi and adding that to the collection as well. And then uh, a classic early 90s film, Brandon Lee and the Crow. Uh, that's a beautiful piece there. I've often uh, toyed with the idea of taking it out of the box, but it's presented so well that I don't want to do it. So it displays nicely that way. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's my room. That's the 80s movie den. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, and I will do videos and reviews on some of the stuff that's in here, of course, uh, more in depth. Uh, that was just kind of a quick overview of the way the room is set up. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, finally got around to doing it. Sorry it took so long. This will probably be a semi-annual thing, uh, maybe annual. Uh, depending on, you know, how much the room changes. I do have uh, more posters in my storage room, and I will often take posters down and put new ones up just to freshen the room up a bit. Um, but yeah, I'll go more in depth on some of the stuff that I toured. And uh, like I said, probably every six months to a year, I'll, I'll do uh, a review of the uh, 80s movie done. So anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, this has been the 80s Movie Den. And as always, catch you in the next one.